The governor had planned on promoting his iGEM initiative in the area a few weeks ago, but had to cancel at the last minute because of a snowstorm in Boise. This morning, he followed up on his promise to tour ISU's recently acquired former Ballard building. Phil Campbell was there and has more from ISU. In what some described as deja vu, ISU showed off their latest addition and how they believe this new asset will benefit more than just the university. That is what's happening in this transformation here in our state in Idaho, is that we are bringing people together and with the help of iGEM, this will facilitate that process and it will take off on its own. The iGEM program calls for $5 million to be set aside for placing interest on the campuses of Idaho's public universities to help both existing and startup companies grow. It's modeled after a similar program that originated in Utah and is spreading across the nation. Idaho's governor believes this initiative is critical if our economy is going to compete at a global level. It is our future. It's the way we grow our economy. And it gets us into, a, a, as a major player in the world, uh, not just in the United States, but as a major player in the world, uh, for the needs of the world for, in, for establishing intellectual properties and then being able to develop. One of the keys to the success of the governor's iGEM initiative can be found here inside the old Ballard building on ISU's campus. The governor believes that we could see a similar return on investment as to what is already being demonstrated at the Case Complex in Idaho Falls. As you, as you build your reputation, as you can look at your successes, uh, as you've done the right thing and the smart thing from the get-go, uh, people are going to people are going to call up and say, "Hey, we want to be part of that uh, that that great thing that you've got going on in Idaho." The governor says cooperation is vital for the plan to work, which means you shouldn't be surprised to see the U of I or Boise State occupying space in the former Ballard Building, and vice versa. Reporting from ISU, Phil Campbell. KPVI News 6. Now, ISU's already been approached by many companies that are looking to partner with the school in the former Ballard Building, and the university expects many more to come.